ladies and gentlemen meet boogie he is a member of the alliance that i'm in in kingdom 1568 and we recently just landed in kvk which means pre kvk was a couple of days ago and boogie was an absolute savage and grinded the entire time and he was able to acquire 1225 kingdom supply chests so today we're going to be going over exactly what boogie got from opening all of these chests so that way we can see if grinding marauders is still worth the ap and then we can compare it to the data that i collected back in 2022 when my good friend rk did the exact same thing and got an insane amount of chests back in 2022 he got 700 marauder chests and then again in 2023 he got over a thousand now i still have the data that i compiled from his chest opening back in 2022 and so we can see exactly how marauder rewards have changed in two years because he got his 700 chests on october 4th or around the beginning of october in 2022 today at the time of recording this is november 1st so it is literally almost exactly two years a little bit more than two years later so it's going to be really interesting to see if things have changed significantly but first what's going on guys cheers now of course i do want to give boogie a huge shout out it would literally be impossible for me to do this video without their grinding and normally i would show you the part of his video because he obviously he recorded his screen normally i would show you the part of the video where he opens all of them but the problem with that is that he didn't open all of them he actually went in and opened these five at a time and scrolled through the results of five chests at a time yes he did them five at a time for all 1200 and 25 and so i don't think that you want to sit here and watch all of these i certainly don't because i spent probably eight or so hours watching this footage and recording everything i'm not kidding it is not an exaggeration i spent a ridiculous amount of time meticulously going through this footage it's over 11 minutes long and recording every single item that boogie got so i do want to say thank you boogie for recording this and thank you for making this video possible but i also want to let you guys know in the future if you ever show me or record or send me a marauder chest opening i am not going to be going through it one by one ever again that was way too much time it was an insane amount of hours that i put in so as much effort and time as boogie put in which is more than me it's actually insane how much he grinded it also took me hours to make this video and so i really hope you guys will go down there and drop a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel because i haven't put this many hours into a video in quite oh it's been months okay so i would really appreciate it if you dropped a thumbs up down there and once again huge shout out to boogie show him some love in the comments section below because if you guys have ever done some marauders grinding you know that 1225 marauder chests is like probably close to the max that you can even get like i have no idea how he even pulled that off anything over 700 anything over 500 is insane right he said he spent close to 500,000 ap he had know the exact number it was close to 500,000 AP and if we do some quick math here well actually we don't even have to do the math because our good friend RK already kind of broke it down for us he said it costs about 420 AP per Marauder chest if Boogie got 1225 Marauder chests then that is actually if that's the average that's actually over 500,000 AP I think RK's math is actually on point here which is kind of scary anyway with all that being said I'm I'm certain that you don't want to sit here and watch all 11 minutes of boogie opening those chests five at a time so we're just going to get right into the results of what boogie got from opening up all of those chests now I do want to say for full transparency it actually did take me so many hours of doing this meticulously and stopping frame by frame to make sure that I catch every single item I might be slightly off here okay there was uh, like one or two times where he didn't scroll all the way down to the bottom of uh, an item report I think it actually honestly in his defense I think he only didn't scroll down one time in all 1225 openings or chests he did them five at a time but anyway with that being said I I'm not perfect okay and I wasn't gonna go back and double check my work because this already took an insane amount of time but rest assured I made this as accurate as I possibly could so what we have here is basically all of the things 
that you could possibly get from everything so what we have here on the left is basically a list of everything that you can possibly get from a marauder's chest you have food wood stone gold gems credits speed ups experience you have all of your materials of course then you have gold keys crystal keys purple stars gold stars a couple of the purple blueprints and you have epic sculptures now of course all of these have different values some of them are 500,000 food some of them are the purple 1.5 million food that's the different denominations here and then in the quantity column this is the amount of each one that boogie got from the 1225 chests so let me go ahead and just reveal the resources first so he got 210 of the half a million food 61 of the 1.5 million food then we have 278 of the half a million wood 58 of the 1.5 million wood and i'm not going to read all these you guys can see it for yourself okay i'm not going to insult your intelligence and read it all out for you all right let's go ahead and take a look at the total here basically all I did was multiply this column by this column and that's how we get the total for all of these now if we go ahead and add you know we'd have to add up both of these to understand how much total food boogie actually got from this and likewise for the rest we have 196.5 million food 226 million wood 173.25 million stone and 79.2 million gold total tons of resources here actually an insane amount of resources you would have to be logging into your farms a ton to get this many resources in just like two days and you would need a lot of farms so all in all I would say this is a solid haul next let's take a look at the gems here and there are four different gem drops that you can get here from the marauders chests let's go ahead and see how many of each that boogie got he got 58 of the 50 gem drops he got 35 of both the 100 and 200 gem drops and actually 48 of the 500 gem drops so the highest was the 50 and then second place was the 500 so actually not bad at all let's take a look and see how many total gems our boy boogie got from the marauder chest so we have in total 37,400 gems for 1225 marauder chests or let's say half a million ap next up we have alliance credits okay and this comes in two denominations the 1000 credit drop and the 5000 credit drop and this is kind of insane he got 1282 of the 5000 alliance credits and only 47 of the 1000 alliance credits so clearly there is just way more of the 5k drops here and this is the most common thing to get from your marauders chests the 5000 credit drop was obviously far and away the most popular thing that he got out of all these chests and it resulted in six basically 6.5 million alliance credits which is kind of a lot so if you're in some desperate need for passport pages maybe this is a good thing to be grinding assuming that you're in an alliance or kingdom that will actually put them in your shop although we did find out from a recent update video if you guys missed that check it out on the channel but new updates coming soon should be putting a couple of free passports in the alliance shop every single week regardless of what the alliance leaders do and so you actually can get your hands on these passports pretty pretty free honestly so that's a good thing if you missed that update video definitely check it out it was a long one but there's chapters and you can check out all the new things coming I'm very happy about that anyway next up is the speed ups and we have once again four denominations we have the three hour eight hour 24 hour and three day speed ups here we can take a look and see just what our good friend boogie got we got 328 of the three hour speed ups 147 of the eight hour speed ups 49 one day speed ups and 36 three day speed ups honestly that's pretty good here so this was despite being the most rare this was the source of the most hours of speed ups for boogie and we have 5928 total hours of speed ups these are universal speed ups so really cool stuff here next up is experience these are just experience tombs that you can use and we got our total of 8.1 million total experience for those of you that actually still need it next up let's take a look at the leather that was acquired here and of course all of the resources come in either green blue or purple purple being very rare these were the most rare drops that I saw in the entire thing was purple materials out of 1225 marauder chests only four 
purple leathers four purple leathers actually insane okay we got 86 of the green 65 of the blue and so what i did here was kind of just divide this up so you divide this by four by four and then you divide this just by four and that's basically how many purple materials it's equivalent to so in total we have 25.63 purple leather that we got from or that boogie got from these marauders next up we'll do the same thing for iron and we can find out that boogie got again seven purple irons what that is out of 1225 chests, bro that is insane okay that is insane we see in total boogie got 28.19 total purple iron next up is ebony and for the ebony we have drum roll please we have once again six purple ebony so again you guys can see this is like by far these purples are the most rare thing individually on this entire list we got 28.25 purple ebony scrolling on down here we have the bones and what you'll notice is actually you don't get any purple bones unless these are so rare that boogie didn't get a single one out of all of this it looks like you just do not get purple bones here if anyone has ever gotten a purple animal bone from a marauder chest let me know but it seems like that is not possible and it's hap i'm happy to report that the animal bones are the least common material to get from marauder chests this was the same back in 2022 as well so that's a good thing most people don't need animal bones he only got 9.44 total purple bones and so if we do the math for the total number of materials without the bones because most people do not care about the bones then in total boogie got 82.06 purple materials from this marauder grind let's go ahead and see what we got for the keys okay so we've got of course crystal keys and gold keys and he got a perfectly even spread 45 crystal keys and 45 gold keys next up we have the stars we have purple stars and gold stars we have 124 purple stars and 67 gold stars that's to level up the rank of your uh, commanders next up we have the blueprints these are the purple blueprints that give you uh, basically just a random uh, blueprint fragment or whatever from a specific troop type that is infantry cabin archer and it was a pretty even spread across them we had 26 of both the infantry and calves and then 29 for the archers and then finally we have the purple sculptures we got 33 of the uh, universal epic commander sculptures a very pretty much useless thing here honestly to be honest with you guys and so most people don't care about any of this stuff with all of that out of the way let's reveal the final total here and we will see that boogie got 37,400 gems of course we have 247 days of speed ups and they got 20.5 golden materials legendary materials and that is not including the bones now it's also worth noting that because boogie got his hands on 45 crystal keys there will be some amount of materials in those crystal keys and so this number might be slightly higher so keep that in mind so if we do the math here then we can find out that boogie got on average about 30.531 gems per marauder chest we got about 4.839 hours of speed ups per marauder chest and about 0 0.06699 nice purple materials per marauder chest so what we can do is take a look at this per chest drop rate of what I would argue are the most uh, important things and most desired things that people get from these chests and we can compare it to what our friend RK got back in October of 2022 to see if these numbers have changed significantly now if you guys missed that video from October 4th of 2022 you can quickly see all of the results of what our friend RK got from back then or you can watch that entire video what I mentioned in that video is that RK got exactly 700 Marauder chests okay he spent about 250,000 action points to do so and what I mentioned in that video is that the Marauder rewards were retweaked prior to RK doing that run and so what we know is that Marauders originally had a certain drop rate certain value then they tweaked the rewards and then RK went ahead and did this 700 chest grind now today what we're going to be comparing is those reworked rewards 
and the rewards that we have in game right now and we're going to be able to see were they changed again now this is not going to be conclusive data because obviously we're comparing uh, it's kind of a small sample size you would really need to get like tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands to of chests to kind of compensate for the fact that it is rng at the end of the day but what we can do here is basically take the same numbers that we did before the total gems the total number of hours the total number number of purple materials minus animal bones and we can divide that by 700 because we'll get the total average or we'll get the average of uh, how much he gets per chest and here we can see that RK got 37.43 gems per chest 4.12 hours of speed ups per chest and 0 0.06821 materials per chest so if we compare that information to what boogie just got we will see that RK actually per chest got significantly more gems from his 700 marauder run than boogie got for his 1225. if we look at hours per hours of speed ups per chest i would say there is a statistically significant dis difference between what it was before and now in fact boogie per chest got more hours of speed ups than our friend RK did back in 2022. And finally, if we compare the number of materials per chest and the number of materials per chest for Boogie, we'll find out that actually it went down slightly. There are slightly fewer materials per chest for Boogie than were for RK back then. Now, the materials per chest are only off by about 1.8%. So it's it's hard to say right we would really need more chests to know if they did actually lower the amount of materials that you get per marauder chest so i'm not i'm not ready to say that they've changed this at all but i would say it is almost positive it is almost certain okay it is almost certain that the gems per chest have gone down and the hours of speed ups per chest have gone up in fact the speed up drop rate has gone up by 17.25 percent so a negligible reduction in material drop but a significant increase in the number of speed ups that you get and while we're at it we can see that the gem drop rate went down by about 18.4 percent so i think it's safe to say that the speed ups were increased the gems were decreased and that sort of levels out a little bit there was probably also a little bump in a few other things such as maybe experience credits or maybe some resources as well in fact why don't we actually calculate the amount of resources per chest so back in 2022 rk got 366 million total resources and like i said before or like you may have seen it's been on the screen this whole time 44 million gold even which is pretty funny and so if we take a look here it looks like rk got about 524,000 resources per chest and that equates to about 62,857 gold per chest now if we compare that to what boogie just accomplished you will see that per chest boogie got 550,000 resources per chest so that is a bit of a bump honestly compared to this was 2022 and this is 2024 so it went up from 524,000 to 550,000 and you can see gold per chest also went up slightly from 62.8 thousand to 64.6 thousand and so once again if we do the math it looks like there's about a 5.13 percent increase in resource drop and a 2.86 percent increase in gold drop now again i want to make this very clear this could be you know there could be some standard deviation going on here there could be you know this is all rng at the end of the day and like i said we would really need to compare tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands of these chests to really get an idea of you know have things actually changed but one thing is for sure i do think that they i mean it, it, there's almost no way that they didn't change the speed up drop rate and the gem drop rate those are so different per chest that it must be the case that they were changed i'm also pretty confident that they've increased the resource drop rate the gold drop rate and the uh, material drop rate i don't they, they they are pretty low right the changes it's slightly off did they change it maybe maybe they tweaked it slightly it's really hard to say with such few you know pieces of data basically but it's also worth noting that maybe there is diminishing returns on things such as gems right so what i mean by that is if you open a small number of chests maybe your gem drop rate is higher 
and then as you sort of farm an insane amount of these marauders chests maybe the game sort of decreases the number of gems that you get over time uh that's possible although as i was going through the data with boogie's recording i didn't necessarily notice any sort of less frequent gem drops later as because he opened them five at a time right and so i didn't i don't think that there was any you know change in frequency as the number of chests opened went up but it could be the case that the game will calculate your loot table based on number of chests in your account basically or or capable of being opened at that time this is again all theory crafting none of this I, I, we would have no way of knowing right unless the developers actually said that i'm leaning towards that not being how it works okay there's probably just a flat loot table and you just open it and these are your drop rates effectively and or really these are how they've changed over the last few years and so that is that really to answer the question have marauder chests been nerfed that that really depends on what you care about if you do marauders specifically for gems then you will be getting most likely and almost almost guaranteed you'll be getting less gems now than you would have two years ago however in exchange for that you're going to be getting more speed ups more resources and possibly slightly less materials again that one is like that one's up in the air I don't know if that's actually changed or if just RNG is what skewed that it, it is what it is like I said the the number of purples that you get is so rare like even back then for RK he got three ebony purple one oh he actually got a purple animal bone okay so maybe it is possible or maybe they removed it maybe that's part of it but he got one purple iron ingot okay four leathers and uh three ebonies for purple so you know who knows maybe maybe these things were were changed maybe they weren't I have no idea but definitely the gem rate and the speed up rate were changed so hopefully this video was useful for you guys and I do want to thank once again Boogie for going out and doing this massive grind for his account hopefully he found it worth his time it's also worth noting guys do not forget that when you kill the marauders themselves they also drop items as if they were uh, barbarians right so unfortunately I don't actually know how many like gems and speed ups and things boogie got from just the raw marauder value itself that would be very interesting to know I wish I knew the answer to that if we could like add up all of that I don't know what like maybe we could kind of do law of averages or something if we know like on average how many gems do you get per marauder you can multiply it by the number of marauders that were killed by boogie but regardless this is just what was obtained from the chests not the raw loot from the marauders as well so your value is actually higher than this just to be fully transparent with you guys you will get more than just this in terms of speed ups and in terms of resources as well and gems you will get those things from just you know killing the marauders themselves hopefully you guys found this video interesting and informative and you can use this data to sort of decide for yourself is it worth grinding the marauders with your action points or is it worth saving them for kvk barbs so you can get crystals from it or is it worth saving them for events like we have right now at the time of recording this there's the Halloween event but we will have the Thanksgiving event at the end of this month in November and we will have the holiday you know Christmas season events around the end of December and then there will be New Year's and so there's tons of holiday events coming up in the next couple of months guys so if you want to save your AP now you know the data this is what you might expect from a massive Marauder grind and you can compare that with the value that you might get from grinding out events for like the 7k gem event for example or like I said barbarians in the lost kingdom to get yourself some crystals with that being said if you made it all the way to the end of this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and like I said this video literally took me hours and hours and hours of mindlessly recording this data uh, and it took boogie hours and hours and hours of grinding these marauders to make this video possible so please any support thumbs up comments subscribe all that good stuff it helps out the channel a ton and while you're down there subscribing consider clicking the bell so you don't miss the next rise of kingdoms upload and let me know what you think in the comments is it worth grinding marauders yes or no uh, what do you think about this let me know and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace